Hey, it's Kevin with MC Writer. You know, it's one of those things that brings fear into the heart of a lot of writers. In fact, I see it all the time in the MSF class when it comes time for the skill eval and the writers have to perform the dreaded U-turn. It's one of those things that they're not totally comfortable with yet, but believe me, it's not something that just new writers struggle with. In fact, I was taking an advanced class a few years ago. We had a bunch of Navy guys that had come down from Oklahoma to take this class. And I watched one of the Navy riders, one of the experienced riders, drop his big victory motorcycle in front of all of his buddies trying to make a U-turn. So it's something that experienced riders struggle with as well. So this week on MC Rider, we're going to give you some tips and techniques for the dreaded U-turn. Hey, if you're new to mcrider.com, welcome. My name's Kevin. I'm your host here at MC Rider. I'm a professional motorcycle instructor in North Texas. Also release weekly videos to help you guys gain more control over your motorcycles. So this week's episode is actually a request from one of our Patreons, Keith Post. Keith requested this training video on U-turns. And if you're not a member of our Patreon site, you can go over there and for just a dollar a month, you can help support MC Rider, and you can request training videos like Keith did on topics that will help make you a better writer or topics that you just like to see covered here at MC Rider. So a lot of writers are able to perform a basic U-turn uh, in the MSF class on a 250cc motorcycle, but it becomes a whole different story if you don't have the technique down when you get home and you're trying to do the same thing on your larger motorcycle more powerful engine, a lot heavier bike, a lot of times a lot taller motorcycle than what you were using in the MSF class. So this week we're going to focus on the fundamentals of a U-turn, the basic techniques in order to perform this, and then it doesn't matter if you're on a 250cc motorcycle or an 800 pound Harley, the techniques are the same. After getting the basic techniques down, all it takes from there is just a little bit of seat time, a little bit of practice. So find an empty parking lot, take some of the techniques from this class, and begin practicing this on your own. And before long, you'll be performing U-turns like a champ. So before we go demonstrate this technique on the range, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about some of the techniques we're going to use once we're out there. First thing you want to focus on is the clutch and the friction zone. All right, so if I've got the clutch fully squeezed in, I've got no power going to the rear wheel. If I fully release the clutch, I've got 100% power to the rear wheel. But if I slowly release that clutch out, at some point, it's going to develop partial engagement. That partial engagement is what we'll call the friction zone. All right, so the whole time that I'm performing a U-turn, I've got that clutch in the friction zone, and I'm maintaining it in that position so that I've got partial power, partial drive going to that rear wheel. In addition to the friction zone, I'm using a little bit of rear brake. So I'm using the clutch and the rear brake to help control my speed. I'm using a steady throttle on the throttle. So the throttle's engaged, uh, but just in a steady manner, I'm using the clutch and the rear brake to help control the speed. So if I wanna make a U-turn to the left, I've got the clutch in the friction zone, I'm using some rear brake. I'm gonna adjust my weight to the right so I'm going to help counterweight the motorcycle. Motorcycle will lean to the left, but I'm going to put some weight to the right. In addition to that, I'm going to turn my head as far around as I can because I'm trying to look where I want the motorcycle to go. So I'll, let's look at that again. I've got a U-turn to the left, clutches in the friction zone, a little bit of rear brake, steady throttle. As I approach the U-turn, shifting my weight to the, to the right side, Got my head and eyes turned to the left, and I'm looking where I want the motorcycle to end up at. So let's do that to the right. Clutch in the friction zone, a little bit of rear brake. Turn the handlebars to the right. Weight goes to the left, and I'm turning my head and eyes around to the right-hand side. So now that we've talked about the technique in the garage, let's see what it looks like out on the range. So as I approach this left-hand U-turn, I've already got the clutch in the friction zone, 
You can see that the tail light is activated, so I'm adding light pressure to that rear brake. And if you'll notice my head and eyes, I'm turning my head, I'm looking where I want the motorcycle to go. The motorcycle is leaning in one direction and my upper body is leaning the opposite direction. So I'm keeping the bike counterweighted by putting weight on the opposite side of the bike from the turn. So when I'm out on my own and I'm practicing U-turns, I find a parking lot with some painted parking spaces like this. I try to keep it within a couple of spaces, but if you're new to this and you're just starting out, don't worry about markings on the ground. Just get used to using the technique, and after you get the technique down, then you can start setting up markers or painted lines to help you shorten your U-turns out. You may have also noticed that occasionally I'll use a little dip uh, prior to going into the U-turn, like right there. Uh, a lot of people find that helpful to add that little dip on bigger bikes especially to help get the momentum going and to help get that bike tighter through the corner. So thank you for joining us this week at MC Rider. If you like what we're doing, I ask you guys to subscribe to us first. Uh, share your video with your riding buddies and your friends. Share our videos on Facebook and help us spread the word. If you really like what we're doing, we we'll hope that you'll consider becoming a patron of our site. Go to www.mcrider.com support, and you can find information on how to support the site. And with just a dollar donation per month, you can help control the type of training and the training topics that we provide here at MC Rider, like Keith did for this video this week. So guys, until next week, this is Kevin with MC Rider, and we'll see you on the road.